Hello again, it's me, Milton, Little Milton Channel. Yes, it has arrived, it arrived today. This is the other part of the box set to go with this. Only two of them actually arrived, right? And you can tell I cleaned up after yesterday. Yeah, no I didn't. Right, we'll just get these laid away. And these nice little stackable units. Uh, no, we'll go that way around. We can lock that one in there. Right, minute. I'm making a hash of this. Now, these bits in this container here, I said they were also rated at impacts. No, they are not. I've been over the box and I've prowled it. There is nothing to say it's for impacts. It clearly shows a drill on the front thing. I'll put these here. <laughs> yeah, rather bulky, isn't it? We're going to put these, you know, we'll put them somewhere. Put them down here. Right, fine, go. Now, so here's the box, and these are not impact rated. It clearly shows a drill up there, therefore screw driving, right? I know some of you actually put these into impacts, these bits, thinking you're getting cheaper options rather than buying impact bits. They don't last long. They wear out very quickly, and they break a lot easier. And then you start complaining, saying to what bits are rubbish, or Milwaukee bits are rubbish, because Milwaukee do sets similar as well and uh, Bosch and Hitachi and all the rest and right so forth you get the idea right so this is it here what's the special about it why is it such a blinking mouthful right because this is a dual screw screwdriver bit set in a tough case for T-Stack you think I've lost the plot if you've never seen my first video on this and believe you me I haven't so what I'll do is I'll bring you around here first right We'll have a look at the boxes and the front cover and everything. I'll get up one of the old boxes that I had the other day here, one of these here, and we'll have a quite a little bit of comparison between them. Okay then, so I'll bring you around with this camera now then. Okay, when I find out, I'll bury it. In. There it is. Okay. Okay then. Box part number is DT70702. There is 40 pieces in the box. And that is actually a picture of a drill. I'll try and get it so you can see it. No, we can't. It's tough luck, you can't. Right. So these are not impact rated, as I have said. And yet it was sold as impact rated bits on Amazon. How much? £20. Okay then, let's get stuck in about it. We have the wall on here. We don't have the extreme bit on it. See? This has the wall extreme on it. Right. Now, you can see here how they stack. This is a stackable case here, and it goes into here like so. It clips into place, and you stack them on top, just what you've seen me do with that one. And there is a tough case, connectable case. Now, I would have noticed the tough case bit here also has a plus at the end of it. But I'm listing this as tough case. I'm not putting the plus on it, because I don't know whether or not the plus is supposed to be there. Okay, now... We get down to the good bit. Now, on yesterday's video, let's bring this down a bit and up a bit. We could hardly see this box underneath. We couldn't really tell what it was. And that box there is the box underneath that these bits actually slot. Those cases I just showed you, they actually slot in. They don't lock together. They lock in place in individual bits. And these are for the little boxes, right? Like these here but except wall boxes not our rubber boxes because they're basically the same right now this box here what is going on ah uh, we couldn't see we couldn't figure out it looks like it's more for putting screws in I'm only hazarding a guess and then the big bigger boxes which we're looking at now these connect on top but how do they connect on top good question I don't know I'm just saying that's what they're doing now, I also will give you the model, the, no, no, uh, slow down. I'll also give you the name of the YouTube site, which actually shows you this in more detail, right, after this, right. So, uh, we've done this, right, I'll do it quickly. The place to go to, YouTube, DeWalt, DT70716, and this has got QZ, on mine, it's got T stack caddy, right? But I'll give you it after this. Now, this bit here, 
This is easy bit removal. This is what he says here. Now this isn't nothing new. I'm going to show you this, that it isn't something new. This is something that was out six years ago on a set of tools. Right, we'll flip over now. This side to see what we've got. Right. Up here we've got a picture or a box with some little bits in it. It's got to be another type of box because this is all a modular system, this, and I'll explain more about that. Then we see them stacked up here. And down here we just see a screw with a bit fitting in it firmly. Now, up top, yeah, up top, it says tough case, right, connectable case. And that's on the other side of the box, that's just the wall. And here again we see all these bits connecting. Now, We'll read out what it is. First we'll go for the 25mm. If you're American, I suppose you could say that's inch. Right. PH1, 1. PH2, 2. PH3, 2. PZ2, 6. PZ3, 3. T10, 1. T15, 2. T20, none. That's garbage. T20s are actually a common size. This box so far ain't looking too good. Pretty crap, actually. T25, 2. T30, 2. We moved to 50mm, which would be 2 inch. Right. PH1, 1. PH2, 2. PH3, none. PZ2, 4. PZ3, 1. T10, none. T15, 1. T20, 1. We've got one so far. T25, 2. T30, 2. Then we move down to the 65mm, which I don't know what that is in uh, uh, Imperial. PH2, 2, right? And we have two of these looking nut things. One's an 8mm, one's a 10mm. It's quarter inch drive or 6.35, right? which is actually right. 6mm and Quarter inch are not the same size. People think six mil is, it's not six mils bigger. Right, anyway, and we've got one of these things here, which, believe it or not, I've got it as a super lock. That's all as I know what its name is, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Oh, and we've got easy bit removal, connectable case, that's all it is. Right, the bit I'm referring to is this bit here, right? This bit. Oh, wait a minute, light, wrong place. Damn! Using that light, this bit. Now, the bit I'm referring to is this bit here. And that just says super lock on it. This isn't impact rated, by the way. Although we do shove them in now and again, just for quick use. They break like nobody's business. We only knew, knew these as super lock, right? And that's about it. We don't actually know really what they're actually called, to be honest with you. So if you do know what they're actually called, leave it in the comments below, will you? Right then, I suppose we might as well get this thing opened up then. But, uh, as I said, I should have actually brought this one in more and actually showed more on it, but I think we showed better on this box than this one. So we'll scrap that and get rid of it. Throw it back in the bin. There you go, away, in the bin. Right, so what I'll do is we'll very quickly get this box opened up. Now remember, when using knives, always cut away from yourself when possible. It stops the accidents from happening. Alright. Now. Ooh. I didn't like that. I think I actually hit the box. Probably I took a chunk off the box. Never mind. It's a box. It's supposed to be. And it's a tough case too. Never mind. We're in. Or that way. No, we're not. For some reason, yeah, we are. We are there. You lot just hoping that I cut my fingers, aren't you? And then stick it up on YouTube. Accidents, idiotic workers. Right, I don't think we need this anymore. Anyway, so we'll get rid of that too. Throw that in the bin. Right, you're gone. Right, so this is what we've got here. This tough system. So how does it actually work? Well, it actually works quite simple. Right. <coughs> Because I've just been showing you with this one, it actually you close it down like so. It's got a little catch underneath here, and on top of here there's a little catch, right? You pop it in like this. You push it down. Ah, oh, wait a minute. You open this one first. Uh -huh. I see. How clever I am. You put that in there like that, and of course you've got to remember and push this one over, which I haven't done, 
and now the whole lot have all locked up. Hey, I mean, right, mess of that one, didn't I? There, right, we'll get it right eventually. See, it's too new this technology for me, and it's confusing me. Right, there we go, we've got all stocked up, and I'm telling you now, I was right yesterday. What a weight, and what a price. I priced it up yesterday when everything was all together like this. This is actually £110 worth of bits and pieces. What's going on and what's the idea? Well, DeWalt have found a great new way. Yeah, tight as heck. Right, we're getting money out of us. They've actually started to make a modular system. That's what it is tight for me. Uh, hopefully it will slacken off through time. And what they're going to do is... They're going to actually make different kits. We're going to end up getting us, kind of figured out this bit, flat bits in a brand new set of boxes like this. We'll get drill bits like this. And everything that you can think of that DeWalt do in this size of box, which is the standard size box, by the way, it's actually the same type of size if you look at it all the way around. Right? Just the same. Right? Same size. And that's what we flat uh, bits come in, or drill bits come in. So they're going to be a whole setup. And I worked it out yesterday that if you have both systems, right, which again I'll read out that number. If you go on YouTube, type in, I'm going to find it, DeWalt DT70716 T Stack Caddy. It should be two videos about this system and how it's going to work. But they don't go on about it too much. They're not talking. It's one of them DeWalt videos where they can show in any country they want because they're not talking in it. So they don't need voiceovers, which costs money. Yeah, knife away, safety. So this is the idea behind it. And they're going to plan to make a fortune. As I said, if you buy the whole setup, plus what it's going to cost you for the main boxes, plus fill them up with every single one of these, you're going to take 13 boxes to do it. Okay, you're not going to do it overnight and do it in one shot. So, I mean, that's fair play. So, anyway, and I also said, not a new idea for getting the bits out. Believe it or not, this set is about six years old. A Bauer had this one ages ago. You pull it up, you pull it out. To put it in, you push it in, and you push it down. It's the same thing. So, what, they've copied it. About time, it was a great idea for getting bits in and out. But then again, how easy are the bits to get in and out? Well, let's try. Well, this, that bit came out. And I've got oil all over my hand as well. Of course, and that was used. Right, so that bit will get in and out okay. Little bits, yeah, little 25 mil bits comes in and out okay. So, this is the bit I want to go on about just now. Now, originally, these little things here, whatever the heck their name is, I have no idea. Right, this is not an impact rated one, obviously, you can tell with the weight of it. The original ones of these, you could only go up to a 4mm diameter thread, which that is uh, 8 gauge screws. I don't know what that is in America, I don't know if their 8 gauge or their number 8 are the same. In other words, you couldn't put a 5mm screw into this because it wouldn't take it. And guess what? This one's the same. It won't take a 5mm, which is 10 gauge. The new ones, which are, when I find it, look at this, all these fancy boxes, and I can't find the one I'm looking for. Yeah. These new ones here, yeah, it's supposed to come out here. These will take, right, a 5mm diameter screw. See, it goes in. That one's in. I'll just check that make absolutely sure I'm not shooting myself in the foot again. No, it won't go in. So they're still on the narrower size on these ones, right? It's only the, um, what are they called again? I've forgotten what they've got, flex torque. It's only the flex torque ones that actually are, you can get away with the bigger diameter screw, right? 5mm diameter, as I said, uh, it's 10 gauge. Right, okay, that's out of the way now. We'll get this away. So, this is the whole idea behind it, that eventually, right, the wall are just basically doing everything up. And now they seem to be trying to call everything flex torque bits. Well, in actual fact, 
they're not flex stock bits at all to be honest with you and i've got this over here all right uh what i mean by that is i've actually done a video just recently right on the cons about uh flex stock bits which aren't flex stock bits i'll give you an example i just recently got these this was actually advertised on amazon as a flex stock right well it isn't it's actually believe it or not impact torsion but in actual fact it's not even impact torsion that bit because it hasn't got a torsion zone it's the bits that are any that are impact torsion anyway enough of that that's for another video sometime when i get the rest of the bits in because i've ordered bits for that and i ordered a battery as well a pro core 4 apparently it's been delivered though according to amazon now no it hasn't right so back to these as i said why buy these really when really and truly you'd be better off buying an impact set because an impact set even if you had a screwdriver it's gonna last you a lot longer i totally and utterly agree with you on this one it's just that i'm buying it to show you but to buy these and try sticking them in an impact you're just gonna eat them up they ain't gonna last five minutes before they all start breaking up on you so don't buy them for that and i've just put the wrong bit away i thought i had okay i put the wrong bit in the wrong bit and that's why yeah silly me they are sorted that problem out i wonder why that wasn't going around see even i'm mixing them up now again here i did point this out yesterday that there is nothing really on the front to put on it to say what bits are what when they're all stacked up on top so you don't really know you're either gonna have to stack them all correctly until you get your little tea stack box and get that done hmm. so anyway i've gave you a look at it oh i'll tell you what i'll bring you in for a closer look fair enough right bring you in for a closer look on this right and you can have a look at the bits inside and how they're all in okay when i find my thing again okay right as you can see here we have a nice little rows a lot of bits and pieces everywhere right we have our longer bits up here and we have two of these ph bits which is a bit of a shame this seems to be more based a slight american market america still use a lot of ph we use a lot of pz in here in britain so fine now are these bits magnetic yeah they are they have magnetic setters inside them to hold the bits in place so that's good i suppose rather than taking them out of course this bit we've already discussed it unfortunately it's the old type it's not the new type which takes a bigger screw anyway and you can see here you've got your torsion bits no security bits with the holes on top of them like and as to be honest with you i'm surprised they gave us as many pz3s on these as well there's quite a lot and as i say it's just one of these box sets that are just a box set it's just really a screwdriver set so i told the wall to bring out the t stack system right we're not gonna actually know more about it i don't know which country it's actually been released in yet first as i said i only found these purely by chance i was going through and i went oh they look all right then which was i think this box set you know it wasn't it was this box set here i actually originally did right no it wasn't see even i'm getting lost i was right the first thing was this box set it was this box set here as i said somebody actually put up a video at the same time as me going on about flex stock and i didn't even know flex stock bits have actually been out for a year before we actually seen them that was the first time i'd seen them in britain and in this case so it's completely new so i don't know if they're in the american marketplace yet or not because that's what gave it away i was watching some of the uh cvg destruction yeah vince right he did a video and what happened was about six hours later i put up my video and i wanted to see what it was about and then I found his video and I found out he's just put his video up and I looked at his and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking well that's a bit different I've already explained this yesterday actually in that video so anyway I looked at it and I went how come he hasn't got the clear case here so that sort of spurred his on to go searching for more and this is what I picked up and finally this one came otherwise it would have been in yesterday's video so anyway I've done this I've explained it to you I've told you where to go in case you missed it I'll read it one more time right you don't have to put the dewalt in the front of it dt70716 t stack caddy 
right? If you put that in, it'll take you. You can have a proper look at it, and uh, they might even show you inside some of the boxes. I can't quite remember. I've only watched the video once myself. Uh, I might actually should have look at it again, I suppose. But, uh, well. So, go and have a look at it, and you can see what I'm going on about the T-Stack system. So, this is what it is. Oh, and one thing I did forget, on the back side of it, it also says Tough Case. And I think it says, plus. Yeah, it is, Tough Case Plus. So, I don't know what if they are called Tough Case Plus or just Tough Case. I'm just calling them Tough Case, and that's it. So, anyway, it's up to you. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm always easy going about this. And... I'll see you the next time when maybe I might eventually get that video of me making a mess of a truck. Who knows? Who knows? I might find more boxes and make more videos about them. What do you think? Cool? Yeah. Okay. Bye now.